It's my first day back to filming after I had my surgery. I had six impacted teeth removed. So like six teeth that were under the surface, which includes four wisdom teeth and two extra teeth that I had over here. So I was actually super lucky. I My swelling went away pretty quickly, but I'm still dealing with some pain and like numbness over here. And because I've been out of filming for such a while, I'm like, I don't even know where to start. I was like, I didn't know what to wear. I never know what to wear. Every time I try to film, it's like I don't have clothes. Like I have a closet full of clothes, but I have nothing to wear is how I always feel when I'm about to film. But anyway, I put myself together and here I am because I have some super exciting restocks that you guys have been asking me for and asking me for. And I brought them back in for the decant shop, the scented dossier. Those of you who are joining me for the first time, my name is Yana, this is the scented. And I also run a decant shop called thescented.ca. I have all of my fragrances available for sampling for anybody who wants to check something out that's kind of caught your interest or really anything at all, it's there. It's like 500 fragrances or well getting there. And a lot of them sell out really fast, like really popular fragrances. So I brought them back by popular demand and I'll show you guys what's back in and it's gonna be probably a little bit of a chatty video because I've been out for a while. So, okay, first things first, can we, can we look at this massive honkin' Greedy Ore? Yeah, my Greedy Ore was out and I went and I got this. Look, it is 450 ml. It is bigger than my head. This fragrance has been so popular. And the great thing with Dior's, especially when they give you the massive bottle that I like for my purposes, is that okay the 250 the 250 cost i think 580 dollars this cost 595 dollars i'm like why would i not pay 15 dollars more for basically double the volume of course i would so i did but the only thing is if you guys are looking to like buy this yeah it doesn't have a sprayer so it's great for me for decanting but not great for people who want to spray it so just keep that in mind but this is a gorgeous patchouli and very dry kind of oak mossy scent with touches of rose. This is a perfect signature scent. It's a sleeper. This is a fragrance that you don't realize is super long lasting, but it is and everybody can smell you. When I worked my miserable office job, everybody would compliment me on the scent the moment that I walked through the door and they loved it. I loved my coworkers. I hated management. We can get into that a different time if you want to know. Um, but yeah, this was a fragrance that I wore all the time. I had to take a break from it because of the negative associations with my workplace, but I love it again because it's, it's been enough time and like I just don't care anymore. And the scent is just so beautiful. Like this is really a perfect signature scent. Somebody did some quick maths on this and apparently if you use um, 2 ml a day, if it's your signature scent, this 450 ml won't even last you a full year. So thank you to Just Add Light who did the maths on that. And yeah, so this apparently won't even last you a whole year if you use it every single day, two ml at a time. So that was fun. But yeah, back in stock. Oh, this was the thing I sidetracked. Um, I love that because of the huge volumes that they give you, the 450 ml, like per ml, I'm actually able to decant it for an incredibly affordable price because per ml, it ends up being like on par with regular designer fragrances. So that's awesome. And I have 10 mils available of this one as well. I'm making 10 mils available for any fragrance that I have larger volumes of. So like some MFKs as well. So there's this. And speaking of MFKs, I know how many of you guys have been asking me for Baccarat Rouge and Alas, my bottle is almost empty, so I haven't posted this, but I will probably by the time you guys are watching this video, it will be up because Holt Renfrew just had a sale. It was their 15% off beauty sale and I restocked and I got a 200 ml of Baccarat Rouge and I will have 10 mls available of this as well. And because I got it for a little bit of a deal, well, a tiny 15% off deal, but I'm able to pass a little bit of savings onto you guys for this fragrance. So that will be up. I am also playing with layering Baccarat Rouge because I love the scent, right? Like me personally, I really love the scent. I've had it for years, but it's becoming very, very popular where I live and I can smell it frequently on other people. So 
how can I make it more interesting and different and unique? Layering. And that's what I've been doing, playing with different layering combos and seeing what is really striking so i will be doing a video soon on my favorite combos layered with baccarat rouge and like a little bit of a layering guide so if you guys want to see that let me know the vanilla of vanillas the vanilla queen that everybody's obsessed with and this is the perfect layering vanilla i never wear it on its own and me personally i don't actually really like this scent but i only bought it because of um the shop that you guys love it so much and it is a really great one for layering like I like this layered it layers beautifully and in fact I think this would layer really nicely with Baccarat Rouge it's just a very deep true kind of vanilla scent even though technically they don't list a vanilla no but it is like legit vanilla I didn't even update about this and it's already running low like people go nuts for this people love this and whenever I'm out everybody wants it back so I have to make sure I always have it available Gris Charnel was another one that you guys have been asking me for and it's back and Gris Charnel is one that I used to dislike but now I really love and it's this like creamy tea sandalwood cardamom scent it is really beautiful and I like to layer this, as I mentioned before, with the Le Labo Tenoir Lotion. Those two go beautifully together. It is my, my signature rainy day scent. Whenever it starts raining and it's a little bit cooler out, I go for that combo and it is just so comforting and you don't want to leave the house. It's like, imagine that there's thunder and heavy rain and you just want to be inside and cuddle up and like have a warm cup of tea. That's what this fragrance does combined with the Le Labo Tenoir Lotion. It's like just zen. It's so zen. It's so cozy. Perfect stormy weather type of scent. Like a little bit earthy, a little bit creamy. I've done a full 180 on this scent. I actually really love it now. I just got my Byredos back. I actually am bringing in more Byredos because they seem to be very, very popular and you guys love them. Or Burrito. Apparently it's pronounced Burrito, but I prefer to say Byredo because it's more fun. So I'm going to continue saying it the wrong way. Balda Freak, my signature scent. I love it. I will never be without it. I was really sad that I didn't have this for a few months because my bottle had run out and I had been just using my, my hair mist. But now it's back and I'm ready to share it. And my Gypsy Water as well. I love this for the summer. This is like an incense -y, lemon, kind of piney scent. It's, it's beautiful. It's airy, but it's very, very noticeable. This is one that I share with my man, and when he wears it, it actually really fills the room. This one has really great performance. The trail on the scent is beautiful. These two, I think, are my, my favorite and most worn of the whole Burrito by Rito collection. I've had to restock Levant probably five or six times, maybe five. And so I have a, a brand new one. This one I picked up at Etiquette, um, it's Canadian boutique. They have this available. And I don't know anybody else who sells Ormond Jane in Canada. So I'm actually like low-key thinking that maybe I'll bring them in and have full bottles available. So if you guys are interested, then maybe I can arrange for that at some point. But it's something that I'm considering is like maybe having full bottles available for you guys as well of certain brands i just uh i just need to gauge if there's enough interest and of course it would be a big expenditure for the business so yeah I'm, it's something that i'm kind of mulling over but yeah if you guys are interested in me potentially bringing in ormond jane or maybe any other brands leave me a comment down below and let me know and i'll see what i can do finally I brought in these guys, Dior, Pure Poison, and Dior Addict, two of my favorite Diors from the designer collection. I love the entire Dior Privé collection. I have one more that I'm going to mention to you guys after that. But yeah, Pure Poison is back, Dior Addict, the original, just the current day formulation is back. I also have the 2009 old formulation that's available, but that's like a discontinued rare gem. And this is just the standard. I still have it sealed in the box. This literally just came in. It's brand, brand new. And pure poison. I had to use it myself already. 
I love this. This is one of my favorite white floral fragrances and I've also been without it for a little while. Sometimes I find that I have to take a break from certain fragrances because I just kind of, I get a little bit sick of them or I build some kind of negative association and I just need to purge it out of my system and then I can come back to them and love them again. So anyway, Pure Poison I think I just wore a lot in earlier years and I just got bored of it. But now that it's back, I, I love it again. I can do certain white florals again. And this one for me is like, it's mostly about gardenia. It's like a very clean, shower fresh, creamy, very sensual, kind of like demure, sexy type of scent. It's a, it's a great evening scent. I mostly only ever wear this in the evenings and just like a low key sexy scent. I almost forgot to mention because I don't have the bottle here yet. I am bringing in Dior Ombre Nuit, which is my favorite favorite rose kind of ambery patchouli scent. It is the best. It's from the Dior Privé collection and I have been, that one has been on my wish list for so long. So when Holt Renfrew had their 15% off beauty sale, I jumped on it. I had to, I had to get it. So that's on its way. I'm so excited. All of these are incredible fragrances. I wish that Ombre Nuit came in a 450 ml, but it doesn't. It only comes in a 250 at most. So I got the 250. I always try to get the most volume that I can so that it can last me for as long as possible. But yeah, those are, I guess, my 10 newest additions to the decant shop, like that are back in stock. So full on restocks that you guys can now check them out and sample them if you've been waiting for me to bring them back in. I hope you guys enjoy. And if there's anything else that you guys want me to bring in, like any fragrances that you've had on your radar that you just maybe don't want to blind buy that you want to sample first, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see in the decant shop and anything else that you'd like to see. I love hearing your feedback. It helps me a lot. And thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.